Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, now that is an 80% chance this is my trainer. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train. Random variables, never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm sorry, mate, that's much right. Bond Street, here. Yeah. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. The platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Uh, I 
need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favor. Oh, I know you're good for your favors. You can bank my favors. Fuck. What? No more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Get over it. Drop it. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student okay I've got no money my family's got no money I'm worth nothing to you you're done now get in the house gates no option wall 90% chance I'll get shot but he's injured make it 70 chance he shoots in this neighborhood though 30% max so the chance of taking a bullet is less than 21 is it worth a try go stop shit Get in the fucking house! Fifteen feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I've got the car, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. 
I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Dan Evie, doesn't pick up, try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? I guess would have headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Or you can. No, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find him. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. 9.20. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 
Do I hear 940? 940, thank you, sir. Looking for 950. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is. Just try to keep it powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Clamp. Katie. <laughs> What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Don't stand now, mate. It's a ball there. One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. Okay, of a red go. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, we can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine, 9-5, five. Nine, five. Nine, five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking mind? 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting longer with this. 10-5. 10, 5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. I'm going to have Again, a thank you, madam. Do you have a 11 is your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, okay. so. Because, you know, price we have 11, 5. Logarithmic curve, derivative 11, 5. Zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid are the same. 11, madam. What is 11, 5. Trust me. 11, 5. 11, 5 I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11, There's 5 no is your bid. It's against you now, bid. It's against you, sir. 11, 5. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, man. 12.5. Are we all out? At 12.5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12.5 once. 12.5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Doesn't 
understand on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Hello. Don't make this any worse. <laughs> Another Sunday control. Hey, listen, this is. That's not as for ya. It's not complicated. Oh shit. Uh, video feed's got. Yeah, I fucking hope so. Did you get the code from the gate? Yeah, but my gear's still upstairs. We're gonna leave it. We're out of here. I think it's prick with you. Frank? You alright, mate? I don't know when to stop, do you? If you'd been smart, this could have gone up clean as a whistle, but instead... Come on, Frank, don't look me off. No, you could look a murder at me, yeah. <sighs> yeah, no worries. Sweet, see you later. Okay, you enter 309220. Three, zero. Enter. Enter. What you hear? It's a fucking security guard, all right? I protect stuff, I don't steal it. So as far as I'm concerned, fuck you. Oh, fuck me? Yeah, fuck you! Because that's what you've done to me well and proper. You did this to yourself. Had it been up to me, you'd be sleeping in the back of a van. Yeah, like I said, fuck you.
well. We have it. Thank you. Fuck for that. Let's just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until it gets Wu's place and turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sells classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keeping quiet until we get rid of this bowl. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Take this bolt to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? Me? You were seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard, and I'm bringing the bolt back. You're an accessory, plain and simple. So what's your plan? We have to take this to Mr. Wu. Oh, come on! How do we know he wasn't behind this accident? We take it to Mr. Wu, that's the best option. Or we turn ourselves in, and we're both accessories for a major crime. Which is it?
Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds. Too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made a deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Ajo, eh? Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atam, go on, Cordy, Tofoy. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything we were just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl! This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, 
We need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. I believe where you he knew nothing about the job. You look convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from M Channel News. I'm Oliver Sands. <sighs> not adding much to this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the box. What? There's no bars. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to Jeff's phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like... This is getting us nowhere. Mate, it's us. Which had just been auctioned for the reported value of 10 million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle. The choice will believe the ball's history. Your choice of words. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How very compassionate of him. Oh, this fast. robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at. Fucking hell. Choice. That's for fucking sure. This doesn't make any sense. Mate, we got him killed by taking it there. And we're next. We need to get out of the city. Yeah. Yeah, I agree 100%. Are you crazy? Having that is going to get us killed. Well, not having it is what got Wu killed. Yeah. I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? Someone down 
against us. She trusted me. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will become even longer. Taba, what is it? Come here, Sally. I think I got a man on my hand. Come here, Sally. You're a little sad, Go for it, what they Tell me, go. Hey. Where's the ball? No, I haven't got it. Okay, it was taken from me, and now I don't know where it is. Lies. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now for the final time, where is the real ball? I don't understand. Where is the ball you took from the auction, not the copy you had in your pocket? The original. The original ball that you stole, where? What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell me. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? <sighs> I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I, I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? A as far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. They got me. Go on, why you? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Ball equals pain. The longer you have ball, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. 
One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. <gasps> Great. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I'll get you the bowl. So your memory returns? I wish. Where is it? I can't tell you. I have to go get it for you. Not good enough. It's the only way you're going to get it. I call the Jada Bay. You bring us the bowl, and she'll be punished. Six hours to bring us the ball. After that, Doc Lowe will no longer be able to save her life. You're a bunch of fucking psychos. From whom you chose to steal. You have six hours to put matters right. Matt. It's Pop. for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this?
morning. You want me, Miss Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he has Thank you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. Ah, that's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you. And you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. Are we going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. wait. All right. Sensibly. In my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. What do you think the Troys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Troys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without that fucking bowl! I don't know where it is! <sighs> I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. I'm not fucking joking yet. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Oh, to hell with you! Oh. <laughs> Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bowl! Oh. Stop in the name of God. It's here. The bowl is here. Show it to me. <laughs> it's in the safe. <laughs> I collected the chest last night. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me. Come on. Seven, nine. 1901. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. Put your arms down! 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 Put
your arms down! Put your arms under there! The ball, you have it. Where? You're dying. The girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it! Where? Fuck you. Thank you.
I really enjoyed this game and that will be the end of the stream <clears throat> in about half an hour I'll stream uh, Beyond the Ice but yeah if you enjoyed the stream be sure to hit that follow button if you're watching this on YouTube be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later ciao